Welcome once again to SOS Scripture Offers Solution, your weekly one-stop shop for scripture answers to questions of life that uh, bothers your heart and we appreciate those that keep uh, coming back every time, subscribing, sharing. We really appreciate you and we pray that the truth of God's word will find a dwelling place in your heart in Jesus' name. But I quickly need to say this that SOS is not a replacement for personal practical Bible study. It's just to let you know that there are answers in the scriptures for any situation of life. And whatever we say is to motivate you, spoil you, uh, even as it answers uh, questions for you to go back and search like the Berean Christians, the Bible yourself, because it seems the art of studying scriptures is becoming lost on the church at large and i don't want you to be part of that and i pray that god will bless you let me get into this question because it's a bit one of those controversial questions my answers are based on uh, my relationship with god my years of experience of following him personal victories that i've experienced in areas of health challenges above all my unflinching faith in god's word so you may not necessarily agree with this and i hope it will not even span too long but just hear me out and make up your mind based on whatever God puts in your heart. This person here says, My fiancé and I found out that we were both heirs. We love each other so much and we have faith in God to give us a happy home void of sickle cell children. Biologically, heirs, heirs, uh, genotype coming together uh, has the tendency of producing SS or what they call sickle children or sickle cell children. He says now, they love each other they want to marry themselves then how do we know if we are working in faith or blinded by optimism and like they always say uh, heart in love may not see clearly and to answer your question directly how do you know you are operating in faith and not just working in optimism it is simple if it is faith it has to be based on the word of god either it is quickened from the scriptures to you in the place of inquiry and personal study or the holy spirit speaks to you directly either way they both carry power as a matter of fact a lot of people is when people tell you oh, before you proceed with this hear from the lord people base that certainty on the fact that you have to hear audibly the lord speak to you and over the years you see people even come up with their mind conclusions as god speaking whereas the scriptures written is as strong if not stronger than the word of god that you are open to listen to or rema as they call it in the church so i'm not saying rema is not powerful but even if god speaks to your heart if it is not aligning with scriptures it is still not usable so you are in faith going on with the marriage if you are basing your decision on a word that you have received from god if it is optimism that's just based on your emotional feeling and faith now not f a i t h now but faith what's it going to be is going to be let's just risk it so that we can show one way to work out yes there are people that don't even know God. ASAS, yes, they married and they've not had sickle cell children. But your case is different because you are a Christian and the devil is ultimately after you. So you have to make sure that you have the word of God backing you up. Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19, speaking about prophecy and uh, the word of god it says and so we have been given the prophetic word i'm reading the passion translation it says the written message of the prophets and it's made reliable and fully validated by the confirming voice of god on the mount of transfiguration so they were relating that what we are writing we didn't just put it together by our own will we wrote it but yet we had a confirmation on the mount of transfiguration and it now brings an instruction to christians that's peter giving them remember it was at the mount of transfiguration it says and you will continue to do well if you stay focused on it not on the voice head on the mount of transfiguration but the word the more sure word of prophecy written down given it says you will do well to continue to stay focused on it for this prophetic message is like a piercing light now it shines in your a gloomy place you've been afraid of sickle cell children as the gloomy place now until the dawning of a new day or let me say fresh hope and optimism not from the world now but faith in the word of god now is generated in your heart 
and Jesus himself being the morning star. So you can see here that you can study, follow the word of God so much that it bursts light inside you. David said it this way. He says, for with this the fountain of light. He says, and in your light we shall see light. So you want to see the light of God regarding marrying, uh, even though both of you are ASAS, then it has to come from the light of God, not just from your head alone. So you need to understand that, that it has to be based on the word of God. What are practical ways you know if your faith is based on the word of God? Have you believed God before for something similar or something lesser? You see, you can't believe God for AS, AS problem when you have not learned to believe and exercise faith for ordinary things like headache. It is the same power, but as you exercise it, it makes you stronger. Check the case of COVID. Those that dared COVID and died from it, even though they were Christians. It's not because God wanted them dead, but it's simple. You have not done something like that before. Your faith has not been developed to that extent. Then you go uh, and try it. How do I know my faith has not been developed towards that extent? It's simple. The God that delivered us from Egypt will deliver us from this. You look at the Bible, they always refer to a previous deliverance as a basis for believing God for a current deliverance. And you need to understand that yourself. And don't just decide to use faith blindly because you are trying to impress people or even prove to the world that you know God. Now, some will tell you, don't marry yourself, use wisdom. Even true wisdom has to be based on the word of God because wisdom, as I know it, is you applying the word of God as he has shown you and expecting him to fulfill his word. When people say use wisdom, they are just saying be smart. Yes, there's a place for smartness, but for a Christian, it is uh, the leading of the spirit that we are expected to follow. So you need to understand this and uh, with some of the things I've said and others are the only way to reveal to you. You will know whether you are in faith or whether you are just blindly optimistic. But I don't want you to make any mistake whatsoever. There is nothing God cannot do. The bane of today's Christianity is that we have early morning prayers. People quote what God cannot do does not exist. People tell you with God all things are possible. People say some of these things but yet no one inside sincerely believes God for what he can do. And I've seen the power of God. I've gone through medical situations that I've seen God change uh, my life. I've seen people under my ministry get healed, lumps disappearing, uh, heart conditions healed, hepatitis gone. And I could go on and on because I have seen it and I believe miracles are for now. God's supernatural power is available now as it was then and you just need to believe him enough Martha and mary they were crying for their brother and jesus told them i told you i am here i am the resurrection he said that we know he says we know but he will wake up again at the last days and the bible said jesus jesus looked at them and he told them i am the resurrection and the life i am here now the boy will leave so you can be with christ and still doubt his power so i'm not trying to motivate you to go and do what you think you don't want to do but i'm telling you god uh, on my side that sickle cell is too small to destroy god's plan for your relationship if god brought you together then there must be a reason behind it unless you are not convinced it is god so i pray that god gives you wisdom ultimately you have to make the decision you have to build your faith but i have just laid down things that i've seen and heard and handled of the word of god and i hope and pray it blesses you like i said i know it's controversial but i would rather err on the side of god than to be right with the crowd go and win in every situation of life because it's your inheritance in christ i'll see you another time on sos thank you and god bless you